Hello guys, I hope you're alright. Welcome to another video on the channel. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and uh, uh, share with your colleagues, okay? It's very important for me, it's very important um, uh, to help uh, other people uh, make, make everyone's life easier and, um, well, uh, make our life a little bit uh, better and uh, uh, if possible not only about studying aviation yeah there are there are other things <laughs> um, so guys uh, with no further ado we're gonna we are here to speak a little bit about PVN okay and um, the main goal it's uh, I want to show you how to check the the FMS for PVN on uh, G1000, on Garmin 1000, okay? And um, with this said, um, what I'm gonna say here, uh, it's um, what's current for the date I'm doing this video, but never forget to always cross-check the sources of the information and the uh, official documents when you are uh, seeing the videos. Uh, point number one, because um, the content on, on some videos on the internet might not be what's on the official documents. And number two, even if the, the person is really good and it's uh, speaking about the proper contents on proper official documents, they change. There are amendments. And uh, as well as me, I have a lot of videos uh, that are already not up to date that i need to update but I, I i didn't do it yet so if you go and check it out there are some things that are uh not not up to date and um so check the check the videos uh, sorry check the the content all right on official documents and for today um our official document is ikeo document 9 or 613 which is pvn manual all right, you have everything here. And if you want to go deep into something that it's inside document and you don't um, know where you, you have a, a part here that it's named references. Okay, and going to you, you have here references, all right? And um, you have, where do they take the information? Uh, for instance, the IKO GNSS um, manual. Um, and well, that's it. So with no further ado, we're going to do a PVN flight. So we're going to fly PVN routes and what we need to prepare. So we just actually need to do three things. Well, first of all, at home, we need to check, are there going to be any GPS outages or not? And then when I go to the flight, I do everything as usual and when I go to my FMS on Garmin I'll need to check if the FMS system it's good in what concerns PVN or RNAV navigation okay for my departure okay and of course for the whole flight but so in that moment is for the whole flight and for my departure and that's the second thing and the third thing is before my uh, um, approach Okay, I'll need to check if the system is uh, functional for my approach. So let's go to step one. How do we check if is there going to be any outages or not? Okay, so what we need to do is we need to come to Google and you go for your control. Rain, no attempts, right? And when you go for Euro Control uh, Rain, no attempts, you have here access tool. You're gonna hit it, and you have that uh, this page here, GNSS Performance Prediction Tools, which says that from today until the fourth, so three days from now, there are no nanos. What the hell is a nano? So it's a notice advisory to Navstar users. So basically, it's what tells you if you have a forecast outage, 
an unscheduled outages or other. So basically it's what tells you if there are going to be outages, if there is going to be an outage. If there is no outage, there will be no notice. Okay, so all right. So if from today to three days from now, there are no nanos, uh, we are okay. We will not have any outage. We're going to check also here this part, terminal approach tool. Okay, I don't know if you can if you can see it. Uh, terminal approach tool, okay, which is basically the same thing but applied to your approach. And uh, you can select here a number of things like fault detection or fault detection ex uh, exclusion. If you have, if you want selective availability on or off, bottle weights, no bottle weights, your degrees of mask angle, and if you're gonna have what type of approach, uh, what type of uh, accuracy you want, okay, 0.3 or 1. Okay, we're gonna go for airports. We're gonna, I'm gonna select Kashkaj, which is my base right now. All right, check outages and no predicted outages. That's awesome. Ah, nice. They they give it uh, they give it to you from the they give the the, predict, the, the prediction to you from the day uh, and uh, three days onward. Okay, so no predicted no predicted outages. All right, and so guys. What I know from this is that if I fly in the next three days, I will have no GPS outages. Nice. So step number one is done. So step number two, we're going to go to the aircraft and we're going to check our system. All right. Or in this case, you're just going to see me doing it. Okay, guys. So Garmin 1000 here and... Uh, well, I don't think this is 1000 or 950, but works the same. Well, you have this button here, FMS. Yeah, it has two buttons. Uh, it's like it's like this one. It's the same as this one. So, or this one or this one. So you have a fat button there and a thinner button, all right? And here in my hand, it's one exactly the same. So when you turn the fat one, you have here the... Um, the, the so uh, many pages okay and um, you have map waypoint auxiliary flight plan nearest you need to come to auxiliary okay and when you open auxiliary you'll have a lot of sub chapters okay which i can browse via rotating the thinner uh the, the thinner um, knob okay so let's check the video so guys to check your FMS for PVN you need to come here to the auxiliary page and uh, I like to start up to down tree planning you have nothing to see here then you go to utility also nothing to see here GPS status okay guys so now what you need to check is that you have at least um, five satellites uh, to um, to do your your navigation then you'll need to check here the position which is not online yet so we need to check that position to check uh, all right that it is so yeah we have now four satellites which give us our uh, coordinates now we have more satellites and uh, we need to check these coordinates with the ground chart all right then we need to check that we have 3d navigation and satellite based augmentation system is active we are going you need to compute RAM for your departure okay enter all right RAM available now you go down here to satellite based augmentation system you want Agnush and was selected all right after that you want to come sorry we were in GPS status go to system setup check if GPI uh, sorry GPS CDI it's on auto all right and then you come to system status and you have to check that I'm gonna click here on FMS button to check if every system is online. As you can see now you have GTX, which is a transponder and 
um, Aztec, which is the autopilot, it's not online because um, aircraft, it's not uh, aircraft. Um, I didn't start up the aircraft, I'm just using the master, the battery, to do this video. Uh, but yeah, usually you have to, you need to, to have everything on, on green to, to use your um, PBN system. If something it's offline, you need to, to, to check legally if you can still do your PBN uh, flight or not. After this, you have your navigation database and uh, you need to check if, if it's up to date or not. Okay guys, after this, when you go to flight plan, you need to insert your flight plan, for instance, uh, procedure, uh, select departure, I don't know, for instance, in Cascais, Xerra Papa, one tango departure. And when you do this, you need to check with your chart if all of these legs are correct. To check if this procedure that it's on the database, it's exactly the same as the one you have in your physical chart, okay? Okay, guys, so um, this is a check that you need to do if uh, you're going to do a PBN flight on the ground um, on, a, on a G1000 or a G950, okay? And you also need to do it um, after, uh, sorry, before your approach okay i hope you find this uh video helpful and uh if you have any doubts if um something was not clear to you please just uh put it in the comments and i will do my best to check it out okay cheers guys